Hello everyone, welcome back to Polybridge. Today I'm going to play Seesaw and maybe a triple dump. So this is one of my lots and right now I think it has a problem. Yeah. So in when I built this map, you could have a road like this that actually worked. But right now it gets hit here. And I don't like that, so you can just do like that to fix it. And the same thing on this side. So delete that, copy, flip, and flip that away. So now I know which one I need to move. And just go up a bit like that. Now it's just time to build a seesaw. Should could have done which maybe like this as well because it's pretty much in the middle yeah it is actually so let's just build out our triangles as we want them on this side and then copy the whole thing that's a lot easier and quicker but I didn't know that that move thing was on the same place on both sides so I couldn't no, I did not mean that to happen. Damn it. Copy. And we need to have it stable in the middle. And let's try to have it as one co cohesive unit. Let's see if it works to get one car over. Looks like it. But it's not over yet. Good. So now we need to sp a split joint here. And probably... We need more than one hydraulic. If we just have one hydraulic here, it will get lifted up to around here. So what we can do is have a second one to like here and a third one here. And then, let's see here. This will not be anything good, will it? But if we do... Can't, I, well, I can't connect like that. So if I do like this instead, it might work out just fine. Let's see here. Two, two, two. These would have to be in the number one. Crap. Can't do that either. Not in that location. So we would need to do it somewhere else, like here. And we're all right. And then we would just need to move this down. Let's just see how far it will get lifted up on the left side. And probably destroy that one in the middle so we actually can get it moving correctly. So a bit higher would be good. And we can do that just by lowering these. Or, yeah, lowering this one. We'll give it a bit more height. Could also change out these hydraulics. But also expand, exp, expand, retract, and have like here probably, and it will get lift up even more, or not, expand to get lift up up even more. They reverse the movement, so now we can lift it up a bit more to reduce the price. That looks pretty good. Now we just need to fix the other side. Okay. Sp hook it all up there. Split it here. And... How to do this? If we have it... 
we could probably have it like something like this, maybe. So this extends and this contracts. Let's see how it looks on that side. And I missed one thing. I missed this. Really important. Okay, it went down too far. We can fix that by doing this maybe. Let's just see how it changes. It breaks there, but we can fix that later on. I just want to see the heights right now. Oh, that's why. It's tipping. That's why. So let's see if we can have it like this instead. And then change this one to one of these that expand as well. Just want to see what happens now. And I forgot the number again. I do that quite a lot. Make this a bit shorter. And see what happens. That looked a bit better actually. And maybe disconnect this one. No, disconnect this one again. So you can see them as two separate units. And it tips over. We need it not to tip over. We want to, just want it, would like to get it a bit lower than that. But we finish the level and nothing breaks. But let's see if we can fix up that up a bit. I want it to look more like a seesaw. So I did some more editing on the side here. And now it looks a lot better. And it actually looks like a seesaw. So this, I changed out this piece of steel that I had, had here to a hydraulic. So now it moves a lot better. And it looks quite close to a seesaw. I'm pretty happy about this bridge. Let's see the next level. Triple dump. So this is, I think, a level that a lot of people have problems with. Because they don't use an arch, like this for the road, and it helps a ton, it makes the level a lot easier, and I shouldn't have road there, wood there, I should have road, just get it like somewhere like that, don't know if this angle is good or not, but let's see if it works, so we need to have land braces, as close to the wall as possible. And this is steel, I could probably have it as cable. But right now I will have it as steel. And maybe something like that. And just try out and see how this would work. And that's not connected to the right space, I think. No, that one. Let's copy this, flip it over. Can I get it? Yeah, great. So the middle part is not exactly right, but now it is. And I should probably make an X here, like that. Let's see what happens. It breaks. Slow it down. So this one breaks. So I should split it up into two parts, like this. Now half the stress will go through one of these parts and half will go through the other. So pr I pretty much increase the strength of that steel by two. That's something you more or less needed to do on this level to finish it. 
to figure out how to increase the strength of a, materi uh, of a material. And I think a lot of people have trouble doing that. And now I will replace this. I don't have steel. I don't have else. Uh, steel I have. I don't have cable. But let's see if this works. I can just raise them up a bit so they're not as slow and lower it here or increase the height to reduce the cost and it works great so let's just get it under budgets now by moving things up and I will focus on doing it things on one side so I can just copy it over to the other side afterwards something like this should work fine Get as close as I can to the wall, and then delete, copy, flip, and paste. And now of course, of course, I need to fix the middle, because I didn't copy that part. And we should be fine now. I think, I think this should work. And it didn't, so let's see which part bro breaks first. It might be that these are, one side is too straight than the other, or straighter than the other, and so more stress moves through that one than the other one. It, the top one looks redder. The road breaks. I hate when the road breaks. So the easiest way to increase road strength is just adding one of these. And we probably need one on the other side as well. So let's just add one there. Let's see if this helped. Yeah, it did. For a while. Let's see. Where, what does it do break first on this side? There's a difference on going up a slope and going down it. So your bridge... It breaks here, I think, again. Let's add some to add some of these to a couple of the roads. This has one negative impact and it's weight. It increases the weight of the bridge. And that might be really, really bad. But hopefully, it will increase the road strength more than what it removes. And I'm still under budget, so... And that looks red, yeah. Need to move this one up a bit. And now it should work better. So the stress is more evenly distributed on both sides of that diamond-shaped thing. Don't know what I should call this reinforced steel bar, maybe. Still. Get the speed up, and now slow down. Now you can see that the stress is a lot more even across the whole thing here. You can... So it breaks here. That's one with breaks. Okay. Let's make a cross. Here. This do not increase the strength of a road, but it might help with distributing the stress over the bridge in that area and decreasing the stress over the road instead of making the road stronger. These just make the road stronger and not reduce the stress on top of the road. So if you have solved this level or Seesaw in an interesting way, leave a comment down below with a link to the gallery or a GIF or whatever. Because I would like to see your solutions to my levels. I think both of these levels are mine. Seesaw, yeah, my level. And Triple Dump, my level. So if you like these levels, please tell me because I like hearing that people like my levels that I created. And see you next time.